Nutrition stakeholders are attending a week-long National Nutrition Forum to find solutions to the critical challenge of malnutrition that the country is still facing. The theme is unlocking nutritionist potential, accelerating multi-sectoral action and strategic investment for enhanced nutrition security. It really emphasizes the importance of holistic, collaborative and strategic approaches to promote good nutrition, prevent and manage malnutrition. Statistics from UNICEF show that 440 million children globally face child food poverty, a situation defined as inability to access and consume nutritious foods in the first five years. In Uganda, the Demographic Health Survey of 2022 shows that 2.4 million, a representative of 24.4% of children, are stunted. With these statistics, the Prime Minister Robin Anabanjo has implored stakeholders in nutrition to harness the power of collaboration to fight malnutrition. Investing in programs that address child undernutrition and stunting levels will improve the health and well-being of Uganda's children and generate significant economic benefits for our country. Uganda responded to these findings by putting in place the Uganda Nutrition Action Plan, which is commonly known as UNAP-2. This is a government-led effort to address uh, the nutritional needs of all uh, population groups particularly the most vulnerable. Nutrition Development Partners Group stresses that consequences of malnutrition are a barrier to the achievement of sustainable development goals. Affecting not only health, but also education, economic prosperity, social, the societal well-being. And in sub-Saharan Africa, over 30% of children under the age of five suffer from stunted growth due to chronic malnutrition, underscoring the urgency of our collective action. As we advocate for improved nutritional outcomes, it is essential to embrace a holistic approach, as we consistently hear, that recognizes nutrition as a cornerstone of intellectual development, educational success, and economic productivity. We must strive for greater equity in access to nutritious foods, particularly for our most vulnerable populations, including children, pregnant women, and those in rural areas. Malnutrition and food insecurity have become one of the world's major challenges, and therefore there is need to strengthen agricultural systems to boost food production and supply. Adia Nakuti, EUBC.